All right, welcome to episode 88 of Adventures in Inbetweening. Today I am looking at a show that I worked on very briefly back in around 2006, Fetch with Ruff Ruffman, a cool, unique uh, kids show that uh, featured interaction with kids. Okay, now it's finally time for the party. They're dressed up, tables are set, and they're ready to greet the guests. Okay, check one, check two, check three. Why does it look so tough at all? Call people up, invite them, greet them, show them how to use the fork. Piece of cake. Okay, it's time for Calvin to face the new and improved Willie. Friends are going to be at a party without well, him. Well, it's the breaks, Grandma. I mean, Willie would have to jump on the next plane to make it to the party on time. He wouldn't even have time to change out of his bathing be suit. all and put me on speakerphone, will you please? Hello? Willie, can you... Oh, please, please, don't, don't clap for me. All right, keep going. He's had a long day. He looks good. All right, some cool stuff. So uh, just a quick background on this. You can see the chair turning here. It's a flash show, very simple. A lot of really quick popping animation, anticipation, move quickly into a new pose, overshoot and settle back. Uh, they set this up so that the characters on screen would be talking to the kids and the kids would be responding. So there was a, a script obviously written ahead of time. You can see what the mouth does here. We've got these wonderful mouth comps, but you're allowed to overlap the outside of the character with them. Here we're leaning back rough as uh, a uh, line of action. The suit's coming out. This wonderful uh, blue machine here just has all kinds of pockets and uh, arms that come out of it and uh, you know just basically solve whatever problem Russ, Ruff has. The idea is that everything just moves really, really quickly. We're uh, looking at the kids. They're dealing with some challenge they've got. They're getting points for their challenges. Goes back to Ruff. He encourages them. He tells them what the next challenge is. Goes back to the kids. It's uh, just uh, really, like I say, a cool idea for a show for uh, PBS Boston. Uh, so here, funny posing. The boards are very strong in this. You can see the storyboards there. I, look how, I mean, I didn't have to stray too far. I, I just basically took what the boards uh, gave us and then uh, applied. The face model was generally the thing that was least flexible. Everything else could be redrawn. Another magic drawer appears here out of the uh, blue cabinet. Uh, Ruff's going to reach in. He has to pull out. Uh, we have to hide his hand there. We just mask that off. He has to pull out this big piece of paper. Checklist is like, well, we can't really play around too much with the paper without spending a lot of time, so that paper is just going to stay nice and flat. Turn around, back to the same uh, chair that we started off with, Ruff, at the beginning of the shot. And we go to the close-up here, and we're just going to check, 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 just literally one frame. Those checks pop on, and it's all about the hands just suggesting the motion for when it pops on. Ruff's grandma in the background here was often on the TV. Overshoot settle, simple animation principles. And so that was just uh, animation that was done separately and then masked off within the TV there. Uh, it, it was something that was able to be moved around later on as well. Uh, it was just really well set up, uh, efficient pipeline. Uh, obviously, I mean, the, the kids had to be filmed ahead of time and everything needed to be worked out so that Ruff could be, so Ruff could appear to be interacting with them. So he talks about uh, Willie in one of these. Willie's one of the contestants, the little kid. Uh, you can see that the, again, the animation's very, oh, uh, overshoot settle, anticipation, overshoot settle. Very simple. I think uh, we were doing probably 30 seconds a week on this. And uh, Ruff, Ruff's still a dog, so he's, he's, you know, if he's going to have the opportunity, he's going to scratch himself. He doesn't have to use his hind leg. He can bring his arm over. Now, this shot here, it's, it's all about high contrast in this. So we start with just two colors, have the cake come up, have Ruff come in, give as much change as we can. Everything, it's not a fast cutting show. It's not like boom, 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 cut, 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 but there's a lot of fast actions. It's, hey, look over here, hey, look over here, constantly moving, moving, moving. Pull out six frames just to give the cake room here. Uh, anticipation, Ruff's going to say piece of cake. There, this was a uh, <laughs> move towards the mouth. He's got to say cake and then boom, popping it off. I remember that I was trying to get the mouth open before the cake went in, but he says piece of cake. And we needed to have that last syllable there. It didn't work otherwise. And this is all related to uh, the part in the game show where the kids uh, have to learn uh, table manners. And so Ruff's saying, piece of cake. So he's, he's basically riffing on that. Oh, show him how to use the fork. And then he's, you know, eating without any table manners just to uh, make the kids laugh. Uh, lip sync variation with the cake here. So we just had the same lip sync as we did, but had to add on that uh, cake around it. Uh, leaning towards the camera again, just really trying to give as much contrast as we can with the character. There's not a lot going on. There's, a, there's only like, you know, three characters in all of this. 
And uh, it's, it's just about delivering that dialogue and making it funny, making it engaging. There's that overshoot. Up top, settle back down. Uh, just, you know, trying to keep as much simplicity and appeal as possible. Here, we're going to clean up the cake. Uh, this is the uh, shot where uh, Ruff is l licking it off of his lips. Turns around, has a conversation with Grandma. You know, I mean, uh, <laughs> if we were thinking about 3D space, Ruff's eye direction wouldn't make much sense. And, you know, he'd, he'd have to turn to his, his back to us. But we want to keep it looking graphic and flat and fun. So we're going to keep him three-quarter towards us. Into the next pose, fast motion. Anytime you've got a fast motion, you can cover up those big pose pops. There's another magical button that comes up. That's going to turn this on. So and because this was an educational show, there always had to be, like you can see the app, map here is very accurate. There had to be, a, I, I can't remember the percentage, but a certain amount of educational elements within the show so that a PBS could get funding for it is my understanding. Blink on the anticipation, overshoot and settle back there. Overshoot and settle, overshoot and settle. All very straightforward. Uh, you know, you got the pipeline for it. Uh, Grandma's going to bring up the headphones here, can whip them around. She's small and very far away, so her action needs to be broad. She can't do anything that's just kind of small. She's, she's a little tiny on the screen, so she has to do big motions to be able to read it clearly. Even the hand motion has to be very big. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Turn on the speakerphone. Uh, so here Blossom comes in. Ruff gets cleared away so we can see the silhouette of Blossom hitting the button. Again, just these magical buttons that pop up anywhere. <laughs> Willie, can you hear me? Willie? And then they cut to like some uh, some pool where Willie is racing, racing a dolphin and they have that, uh, have grandma's voice on the loudspeaker. It's all very smart. Uh, arms can extend here as necessary. The arms can grow shorter and longer. Uh, this is a bit of a challenge whenever you've got rough kind of leaning forward. The drawing was good to work with, but the flash design is much more structured to be flat and uh, graphic shapes. So having something like this where, okay, we got to kind of get those ears in front of those eyebrows and make it work with the glasses. So this is not, not the most appealing uh, pose that we could have here. And then the hands here, it's just a popping, popping, popping uh, with the different hand pos positions. We're not going to have really subtle hand turns. It's all these just going to be uh, strong shapes. And then grandma's ear, eye, arms can stretch just like roughs as needed. Uh, you can see that uh, she's pulling out her hair here and doing her hair while she's talking. Hey, he looks good. Uh, stretching out that arm. See how it's interacting with the shawl there. The shawl was just this transparent uh, asset on top of the body. Yeah, just fun and appealing designs. Uh, keeps the show uh, interesting and interactive. It, it, was a, it was a completely uh, different uh, thing to work on. Uh, like I say, it was just, I think it was only on it for six weeks. And uh, it was a lot of fun. It was nice to uh, have that as a break between other projects. And yeah, if anybody saw Fetch when they were growing up, uh, here's, a, here's a little bit of behind the scenes. I hope you like the breakdown. I'll see you next time. Take care.